welcome back to the channel. Life is strange. Life throws you a lot of curveballs. This is one of them. You got the Dirty Bird, the Camaro. I gotta thank my father a lot on this because kind of when I don't know. My dad knows what I'm talking about, but I do thank him a lot about this. And he kind of help orchestrate this a little bit. Obviously, the Camaro is back in my life. And the Dirty Bird is back still here too. What I think, and I'm kind of like debating on what to do with these two cars and how to build them. Dirty Bird obviously has a fully built motor, supercharger, all the good stuff, everything in it. The Camaro is basically stock with a set of headers that you know if you look at my other video on this car you'll see the whole background of it but what I'm thinking and I'm reaching out to you guys and just to get an idea of what to do I'm actually thinking about taking the motor out of this one sticking it into that one making that a nice street cruiser bruiser like nicely set up on a not a, on a semi quasi budget on this car making it real nice and making it really like a good street car and then taking this car and doing something crazy with it maybe a motor swap no LS car, no LS motors here. I'm not, but I'm really thinking about doing a crazy motor swap on this one that I'm gonna try to build in this tiny garage to show everybody that you don't need a big garage. And you remember, I'm going from big warehouse that I had that I had all these cars stored in at one time, had all the tools and everything else like that. And then and of course life changes. You end up in a garage like this. Okay, let me get back to this. This is kind of like a little heart felding thing here. Many, many, many moons ago. One of my first cars that I bought brand new that I can pay for myself, bought on my own, was a car similar to this. At the time, didn't know, you know, you don't appreciate things as a, as a youngster. I beat the car up, did motor swaps, blew up the motors, but always had a love for the car and always tried to keep it, keep it, you know. And many of you know, having a, what do you call it, a sports car hot rod or something like that, is always life interference and always wants to separate you from you and your car <laughs> whether it could be financially relationship had to move had to sell the car to move you get the point this is an interesting twist to turn of fate of life for having this car back in my life it's not the original car that I had before but to have something similar to this hard top six speed car which are hard to find. With half your tools. Um, possibly we're going to do some power, like, you know, like uh, I'll get an air tank in here and everything like that. But to show that you can still work on these cars, taking the motors out, doing all stuff in a tiny driveway, tiny garage, and <laughs> to see whether or not I can do it or not and not go crazy in the process and I'm going to try to do 99.9% .9 of the work myself without pissing my neighbors off I have a lot more tools than what I'm showing here it's in the back of the house because I also have a uh, another shed and some other pieces of property I could put stuff and all the heavy equipment like the engine stands the engine hoist all that kind of stuff is all you know in the back there but to show you in a small you know, for guys that are like starting out, this would kind of be a great, you know, thing how to organize. Um, and that you don't need the high dollar stuff that you see on YouTube. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you, what do you think I should do? 
what motor should go in here. <laughs> and there's going to be a lot of haters, I think, from my ideas, because I've, I've had an idea to make this car into a nice, really competitive road racer. Nothing on a professional level, but on like a, like a circuit. To me, the only way to get these cars to handle like a modern sports car is to get weight out of it and to move the engine around to give that nice weight distribution. You can't do that with a V8. Let me give you a little hint on that one. Take a guess of what I'm thinking in my head, what you think would fit in here that would make it a nice road racing car or a nice time attack car or even maybe a possibly drift car you know and it depends on you as the youtubers and the subscribers out there and everything that will help fund this setup what I'm going to attempt to do is put in on a patreon accounts and all the other stuff that I see other people doing and to reach out to you the sponsors for these cars and parts for these cars so if you are listening you interested in this let me know I'll link all of my stuff in the descriptions and all that kind of stuff you can send me so uh, smoke signals or whatever if you got some extra parts you want to see on this car I'll be happy to feature them if you're a company out there that you want to you know get a product review I'm all ears <laughs> more in these two cars later